What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the world according to Briggs and the other side of the fastest growing states video. These are the states people are running away from like a porta potty at a chili cook-off. Yes, that bad. I'm talking about you, New Jersey. Most states gain population every single year, every single decade. That's just how it goes. Births versus deaths are always higher in the birth section, immigration, etc. Populations grow. When you're one of the states that breaks near even, some things are wrong with your state. But if your state is actually losing population, there is something really wrong with the state. Normally it's economics, not enough jobs, not enough good paying jobs, too much poverty, something like that. When you look at cities, it's crime is normally the biggest driver for outward migration, not so much with states. With states, it always breaks down to money as you'll learn in this video. Today's video, we're looking at the states that shrank in population from 2019 to 2020, according to the US Census. Before we get going, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. I'd really appreciate it. All right, let's take a look. Number 10, New Jersey. Like most of the Eastern United States, New Jersey began to fill up pretty fast in the 1800s. In 1790, they already had about 185,000 residents, which for the time, that was a pretty big number. New Jersey's population density is 13 times higher than the national average. 90% of New Jersey residents actually live in the cities. I mean, they do have some beautiful land outside the cities, and that's just not too populated. So why is New Jersey losing population? Like I said, it's gonna break down to money. New Jersey is one of the highest tax states in the union, and they have jobs, just not very many good paying jobs. So you got a lot of people working, not making that much money, and then the state turns around and wants to take some of what little you're making. So people opt to get the hell out of New Jersey. Where are they going? Pennsylvania, Virginia, North Carolina, Tennessee, and Kentucky, oddly enough. In 2020, New Jersey's population was 9.28 million residents. They lost around 4,000, just under. The percentage of population lost, 0.04%. That doesn't sound like a big percentage, but keep in mind, like I had said, you're supposed to grow. Most states grow. Number nine, Vermont. Vermont is a beautiful state, arguably one of the more beautiful states this nation has. Great people, great place to visit, just not a great place if you're looking to make a living. They do have some nice jobs, they do have some nice areas, but on average, they don't have a lot of high paying jobs. And it's too bad, this state does a lot of things right. They just need to get more industry in there, in my opinion. I think in the coming years though, this is going to be one of those places that a lot of digital nomads will move to because as people keep moving out, prices will go down, the rural areas will get more internet, and people will be flooding to Vermont because it is a great state. Right now, not so much, people are leaving. Now, not a lot of people left because it's a very small state. The entire population of Vermont is 643,000 in 2020. Now, most of the decade, they'd been gaining people. It's just the last two years, they started losing them. Between people moving in and moving out, birth versus death, Vermont's population lost 400 residents. Doesn't sound like a lot, but the percentage they lost was 0.06%. Number eight. Mississippi. Yes, our old friend, the Magnolia State. This state has achieved a certain level of suckage that, you know, they just always show up on these lists. I mean, they've got one of the worst state capitals in the nation, Jackson. Poverty is through the roof. I would tell you about how bad their education is, but they've seemed to have turned the corner in the last 10 years or so. They're getting better on education, but everything else sort of sucks in this state. And it shows by the amount of people leaving. When it comes to births versus deaths, Mississippi actually gained population there, but the amount of people leaving the state because of work, poverty, whatever, that's where they lost the most. Mississippi's population in 2020 was 2.97 million residents. They lost almost 5 million from 2019 to 2020, making their population loss percentage 0.16%. Number seven, Connecticut. Connecticut is just a weird state to me. I mean, like I've said before, they have some of the wealthiest small towns and neighborhoods in the United States. Just, I mean, we're talking those filthy rich type neighborhoods. And then you have Hartford. Hartford is a nightmare and it kind of brings the whole state down. I mean, they have some other places that aren't great, but Hartford really does a number to most of the statistics in Connecticut, especially the people moving out. One of the people that's not moving out is a gentleman named Mitch. Mitch wrote, I guess you got a fart for a brain, Briggs. Hartford is the best city in New England. Let me know next time you're in Hartford so I could box your ears. Yes, box my ears. 
That, Mitch, is a very attractive offer, but I think you got to get in line because there's a guy in Mississippi that would like to curb stomp me, which is really hard to do because Mississippi doesn't have many curbs. But Connecticut is losing people. They only have a population of about... 3.6 million residents. From 2019 to 2020, they lost 6,233 people, making their population loss percentage 0.18%. Number six, Louisiana. If you follow the news, look at history, know anything about Louisiana, you're probably not surprised that they made this list. Most of the rural communities in Louisiana are deep into the poverty charts. Their cities almost all suck too. You got New Orleans, which blows. Baton Rouge blows. Shreveport, there's a nice place. A lot of wealthy families live there. I mean, really nice neighborhoods. I'm just kidding. Shreveport blows too. The only reason you go there is if you got a court date. Louisiana has been losing people for some time and 2019 to 2020 shaped up just like most of the other years in the last decade. The population right now of Louisiana is about 4.6 million residents. From 2019 to 2020, they lost almost 11,000 residents, 10,896 to be exact, giving their percentage of the population lost 0.23%. Number five, Hawaii. The Aloha State has been losing people for some time. They also think the mainland is giving homeless people one-way tickets to Hawaii. Yeah, that's like this conspiracy they have on the island that this is a thing that's happening. Oddly enough, this just isn't a Hawaii conspiracy theory. I've heard other states say the same thing, that California's paying homeless people to move there, just giving them one-way tickets. They get off the plane with, I don't know, their shopping cart and just set up camp in Hawaii. I don't know. I'm sorry, did I just shopping cart shame someone? I hope we'll all recover from that comment. Remember everyone, being offended's not a skill. The main drivers sending people out of the Aloha state is cost of living and lack of good paying jobs. That's all there is to it. The math just ain't adding up for most of Hawaii these days. The population of Hawaii in 2020 was 1.4 million residents. They lost about 4,721 people, making their population percentage loss 0.33%. Number four, New York. Now, New York has really stepped up their game when it comes to chasing people out of the state. I mean, New York City has been losing people for some time now. That's a trend that's just going to continue. And that really just has to do with cost of living. They got good jobs there. There's plenty of jobs going around in New York City that are good paying ones. It's just, it's still too expensive for most people. They're bailing. It's not just New York City for New York either. Buffalo, Syracuse, a lot of other places are seeing either break even or they're losing residents. But obviously New York City is going to be the main hub of people bailing. That's where most of the people live in this state. The population of New York State is 20.25 million residents. They lost almost 80,000, 76,790 people to be exact, putting their percentage of the population lost at 0.39%. <laughs> Number three, Illinois. Illinois has a lot of the same issues that New York City has, just at a smaller scale. And that's because of Chicago. People have been flooding out of Chicago for some time, and this one is probably the only one that crime is a major driver for the lost population in Illinois. Cost of living ranks up there too. Wages are pretty good in Chicago, which obviously that's where most of the population of Illinois lives. It's just the crime and cost of living are driving people out of that city and the Chicago metro area. We just did a video on the most dangerous neighborhoods in Chicago, and there's some pretty frickin' scary neighborhoods. Most of the city is great, it's just these neighborhoods overshadow all the good that's going on in Chicago, and it's sad, it sucks, but people are flooding out of there. The population of Illinois in 2020 was 12.8 million residents. They lost a little over 51,000 residents, bringing their percentage of the population lost to 0.4%. Number two, Alaska. For a long time, a lot of people were heading to Alaska. I mean, it was a cheap place to live. They did have some jobs. A lot of retirees were heading there. But in recent years, it lost its shine. People aren't moving to the last frontier anymore. A lot of the people that were born and raised there just can't wait to get out. It's a beautiful state, but in most cases, it's hard living. I mean, Anchorage is a nice place and they've got some other nice cities, but a lot of people live in the smaller towns and that's kind of a rough life sometimes. They don't have enough good paying jobs to go around either. Sure, they give you a check every year for somewhere around a thousand bucks. I've seen it as high as 15. I've seen it as low as 900, I think probably lower, but yeah, that's not enough to make you through the year. It's just not worth it to a lot of people, especially if they can't get good work in that state. So what do you get? You get a population of retirees, and I'm not saying anything bad about retirees, but they're a little closer to the dirt nap than a bunch of 20 year olds moving in there. 
So you have a good percentage of population loss by natural causes, also known as death. This is another state that was doing pretty good in population growth until about 2018. That's when it started going downhill. Overall, for the last decade, this latest census, they gained a small portion of people, but the last two years, they've actually lost. Alaska's population in 2020 was 733,000. They lost about 3,594 residents, making their percentage of population lost 0.49%. All right, before we get to number one, don't forget we have another channel called On This Day. There is a link down below. It is a pretty good channel in my opinion, and I wish you'd go check it out and maybe subscribe and give some videos big thumbs up, just like this video and this channel. All right, on to number one. And number one, West Virginia. That's right, the mountain state. Again, one of our more beautiful states. It, you know, the beauty is not keeping people in anymore. They don't have many jobs. They don't have any opportunities. They just have incredibly bad luck, as I've said before. In reality, I honestly think West Virginia should go all in on ecotourism and, you know, just outdoor activities. This state is perfect for that. It's beautiful, has a lot of that to do. They just don't have a coal industry anymore. I mean, they do, but it's nothing what it was 10, 20 years ago. And that employed most of the state. West Virginia, in my opinion, is just the state that should be the go-to state for a nice outdoor vacation for all of the eastern seaboard. I mean, you got Washington, D.C., Baltimore right there. Richmond, Virginia is not too far away. Pittsburgh, all these places can be in West Virginia in just a couple, three hours. I try not to give states advice. I mean, that's not my place, and I'm a freaking idiot in most cases. But this is one that's glaringly obvious. West Virginia needs to forget about their coal industry or whatever they're trying to do and focus on customer service and getting resorts in there and turn that state around. I mean, look at Nevada. That place is staying afloat because of tourists. Their tourism board can have this slogan. Visit West Virginia, hike our trails, float down our rivers and leave us a bunch of cash and go home and pray you don't have a dental emergency because we don't have many dentists. West Virginia has just under 1.8 million residents. In 2019 to 2020, they lost 12,144 residents, making their population loss 0.67%. All right, that's today's list. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a great day, and be nice to each other.